But hello, I'm back in World Trade Center. This time for Math Bex, Manila Foods and Beverage Expo. Now, I thought that uh, that analogy was kind of silly and dumb, but it's kind of growing on me. At least it's easy to remember. All right, let's go inside. Also, I'm on a new audio setup. So it's not my usual Zoom H1. I wonder if uh, this is going to sound okay. I'm not sure. It could be crackly as hell. Or it could sound amazing, you know? I might as well test it in the field. It's still kind of shaky. I'm planning to buy a gimbal. Likely a Feiyu Tac uh, G6 Max. The reason why I decided I am gonna come here is because uh, I got a complimentary ticket. Come on, focus. God damn it. Oh, whatever. I got a ticket. That's all you need to know. Provide proof of vaccination. Okay, I need to provide my vaccine ID. Now don't tell me they're also gonna look for uh, an additional ID. Come on, man. Uh, ticket's like 100 pesos, but I was able to get a complimentary ticket. I don't know how. <laughs> my, my friend Gilbert just had one. Uh, he didn't accompany me for this one because, well, I don't know if he has any interest in food technology. Holy crap. This expo is huge. Never mind anime conventions. I think I'm going to come to like food and beverage expos. Ah, oh, dude, this is going to be great. I'm in, just like that, cool. They didn't ask for additional ID. Now, here's the thing. This is not really about food food. It kind of is, but not really. This is more about food technology. So, for mass production, uh, for restaurants, and for businesses, essentially. Uh, Lazada is a booth. Uh, I've completely transitioned to Shopee. Do they deliver meat? That's how that delivers meat? I don't know how they uh, deliver per perishables. I guess if it's frozen, it's fine, but, you know. Oh, man. I could have used this like three years ago. We had a termite problem. And guess what? They got termite control. I had an ant problem. I bought a bottle of liquid borax and that took care of them. Ants just disappeared. And uh, it only took a little bit of borax. So that's cool. Oh, we had a rat problem like three years ago. I remember, uh, I don't know if I can still find the footage. A friend of ours uh, trapped a rat and then drowned it in the bucket of water. Kind of cruel, but what do, you, what do you do with a rat? Uh, let's go this way. I don't think uh, these people manning these booths are used to vloggers, because uh, they're staring at me like I, I have horns growing out of my head. Urgh, urgh, the protein, worry protein, pounds of them. Yeah, get your gains right here. Uh, so carnitine, dude. I didn't expect this in a food convention. Remember, ladies and gentlemen, whey protein is not a meal substitute. Echigo, protein reduced rice. Uh, what's wrong with the protein in your rice? Makes it taste less good or something? I don't know. I may have to research that. It's sunny from the future. Did some research and uh, it turns out uh, it does have a use. It's for people with chronic kidney disease. People like that need to have a low protein diet because, well, basically, let's imagine your kidney is a sponge full of holes and protein is stuff that is much bigger than those holes. When you jam protein through those holes, it damages the kidney. That's essentially what happens. And I guess uh, Echigo is being marketed for people with chronic kidney disease. Hey, I learned something there. I feel at home in anime conventions and car conventions and such. Here in a food convention, I feel really out of place. Hey, Yngbi Tin. I ate that Mr. Ube today, man. And then they're here again. There's no escape from them. <laughs> you know, I can just go back home and buy some hopia. I haven't had Ube hopia in a long time, so I might as well get some. But not here, jeez. Feels kind of silly. I was there like a few hours ago. Oh, uh, show my mascot. Oh, dude. Mr. Show my has mascots. <laughs> they have mascots. I don't know if that's endearing or creepy. It's. Hello. Hello. Well, that's fun. 
Oh, God damn it. They're offshoot brand. <laughs> Even this color scheme. Jeez. You got some a lot of cool toys here. All right, steamers and... How do you hype up, like, food manufacturing equipment? Yeah, they're awesome. And, like, put Mel music on it. Master Shoma is so successful that they had to kind of copy them. Hey, can I copy your homework? All right, just don't make it too obvious. Jesus, they got hotels here? Hotels have booths. I don't know if they need the marketing. But hey, here you go. Well, I guess they're showcasing their baked goods. Really? Okay. Uh, plastic packaging, because it's important. You gotta be able to wrap your food and stuff. That'll keep it fresh, you know? Also kind of contributes to polluting the environment uh, and climate change, but what are you gonna do? Make people stop buying food? So I've always been, uh, I've always felt weird with businesses like this. Like, it is important. Also, you want to reuse this stuff however you can. Oh, now I feel like I'm in 168. <laughs> it's this type of place. They're selling, like, muffin tins and cake tins, uh, loaf pans, saran wrap, and... Oh, oh. Uh-oh, wait a minute. Almost caused an accident there. Oh, they got the shakers. Acrylic shakers. I don't know about the acrylic shakers. I guess just don't put anything oily in them because it would be hard to wash off. Fat and plastic, you know. But I guess it's okay with the, with alcohol. I have a Mel shaker, so I'm fine. If you don't want your drinks to get less cold, I guess acrylic shakers are good. Also, they use them for milk tea. They got jiggers. So this is definitely for uh, alcohol since they have jiggers. And yet they label, label them as uh, milk tea supplies. Milk tea supplies, I, I don't know. I guess there's crossover between milk tea and uh, bartending. Uh, they have strainers too. Hmm. Isn't that for like, I don't know, separating eggs from egg whites? Leche flantins, yeah. And there's one food I want to master making. It's a uh, leche flan. Nothing beats a good leche flan. Really now? Is this legal? I don't know. Do you chop up your uh, your meat with this? Oh boy. Well, it's cool. Uh, oh yeah, cleavers. Oh yeah, I want I want one. Oh dude. Oh dude. Oh, this is cool. That uh, forged finish. I don't know about these chips though. I like the rustic look. They have them in sheaths. Oh, I'm really tempted actually. And you know, you're a weeb. I don't like them personally, but you know, if you want to go for that stuff. I don't like how they stack them like that though. Feels good. This is a ball opener. Oh, but this is really tempting me. This. This is tempting me. This is handy. I like the balance. 550, cool. I like the rustic finish of it. Okay, so I guess uh, it's all about uh, choosing which style you want. This style, this style with a tip, or that one. The matter is, uh, do I want that? That curve? I actually like that. Because I'm a rock chopper. And this would be better for that kind. Oh, this is carbon steel. He's talking about putting oil on the surface. This is carbon steel. If you don't oil this, what's gonna happen is it's gonna start rusting. So after washing, you gotta put oil on it. Uh, carbon steel requires uh, additional maintenance. Wait, hold on. Is that jerky? Oh, it's chocolate. Our best seller, dark chocolate, salted caramel, hazelnut, and dark chocolate, and orange granules. Alright. Mmm, yeah, but that's orange, alright. Oh. Mmm, I kind of like that. Mmm, that's nice. Mmm. Oh, okay. I'll come back. Okay, thank you. 
That salted caramel was nice. The orange one wasn't bad either. In the meantime, you have caught my attention. As the late Anthony Bourdain would say, meat in tube form. Oh yeah, that looks good. All right, let's up my cholesterol count. Oh, it's already selling like whole packs of that sausage. That's great, that'd be great. Shabu shabu balls in a cup. Taiwan sausage. Oh, I want some Taiwan sausage. Of course, uh, they're here to appeal to businesses. Hey, buy from us. Looking for wholesalers and retailers. Please call these numbers. No, seriously, call those numbers if you're uh, into this stuff. If you're a catering business or you got a tiny grocery of your own, whatever, give them a try. Not sliced beef, sliced lamb. I haven't had lamb in a long time. Oh yeah, this is the stuff I'm familiar with. Meatballs and fish balls and crab meat. Dude, these are amazing as instant noodle boosters. Trust me, have some of these in your freezer. Of course, you gotta take them out, you know, like half an hour before you cook them, but you know, put them in a microwave, thawing cycle, and then put them in your soup. They're pretty good. Mmm. <laughs> Mmm. Oh, that's nice. If I can find these, I don't know if I'll buy them here. Nah. I'll buy them in a grocery store. It's not the same sausage my mother puts in fried rice. Different one. I had these a few hours ago. I had like a Singaporean laksa and Mr. Ube. I don't know how Singaporean it really is, but I liked it. Not as spicy as I wanted it to, though. Yeah. Jimpomelo, Jimpomelo. Jimpomelo, Jimpomelo. If you're taking medication and then you eat that or drink pomelo juice, beware. It's grapefruit. It interacts with medication. Are they gonna keep boiling that water until it dries up? What's with these heathens? They're just letting it boil. That's a waste of energy. I know it's an expo, but god damn it. Do you need to display boiling water in your booth? <laughs> hey, look! Our grills are pretty powerful. They direct heat towards this uh, this kettle. It's enough to boil water. Okay, whoop de doo Great. Can't you just cook food for people instead of just, you know, boiling away water? Ah, oh, boy. <laughs> I don't know about that name. Lazar. Lasag. Lasagna. Lasag. <laughs> oh, shawarma, as always. Well, you're gonna be able to beat Turks. I wish my friend Bear was here. We'd have a good time hanging around here. He's a professional chef by trade. Well, I don't know if he's still working kitchens right now. I don't think he wants to. But still, we, we'd have a hoot hanging around here. Oh, that's a lot of QP. That's a lot of QP. Oh, I've been having this. I've been mixing it with hot sauce. It's amazing. Dude, I can't get enough of this stuff. Next time, I will buy this one. Big one. If you know me and want to give me a gift, buy me anything sesame. I will love you forever. <laughs> ah, biscuits. Yes, sir. Judy's full. Oat biscuits. They're all right, the oat biscuits. Now I want a glass of milk, but I can't drink milk. Sorry, I'm lactose intolerant. I have a bottle of lactase just in case I consume anything dairy. But man, I can't drink milk anymore. Ham. Whoever edited that video needs to be crucified. <laughs> How the hell do you make juicy ham unappetizing? Oh, simple. Desaturate. <laughs> oh, Del Monte. God, Jesus. Do, do I talk about this? Uh, I don't know if I should comment. Okay, okay, okay. Okay, I guess the drinks would be good. It'd be alright. 
but I hate that rebrand. You know, with the dark blue label and the... I don't know. It makes it look like they're selling motor oil. I really, 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 really hate that packaging. Every time I see it in 7-Eleven, I facepalm. Well, figuratively, but you know, sometimes, you know, literally, I would facepalm just seeing those bottles. It's an absolute waste. Oh, uh, I think uh, I think we know what they sell here. Uh, I'm not driving, so they're selling Ho Garden. I still find that brand name funny. <laughs> I guess I'm gonna go for a sample. Oh, they got flavored beer. Yeah, peach flavor and grape flavor and stuff. What, a rosé? <laughs> I don't know, they sell rosé. Rosé? Rosé? I'll sample rosé here. Bottoms up. I guess I taste the rosé in this. Meron yung peach. Or whatever. I'm just topping up right now. <laughs> Ooh, mm. oh, it's, oh, it's kind of faint. It's faint. Yeah, no, young wheat beer. Oh. I actually like wheat beer. Oh, now I like that one. But I guess the most notable here would be uh, the rosé. <laughs> That's funny, rosé. I'm not impressed by the peach. It's not peachy enough. The vit beer is nice. Oh boy, I'm kind of weak. I feel the alcohol. <laughs> I'm a lightweight. I might go with the vit beer. That's nice. As for Budweiser, why the hell would I sample Budweiser? Why would I sample piss water? <laughs> Cassava shredder. Okay, that's cool. Bone saw. Yeah. A band saw for chopping meat. That's cool. Emulsifier. Do you make sausages with that? What, really? This is very seasonal though. Puto bumbong maker. That's interesting. I am going to salvage this day and uh, reshoot everything. Everything with my old equipment. Always have backup equipment. So, uh, let's go back, shall we? Ballless water dispenser, uh, okay. How does the water go in, though? Ah, oh, okay. They have, they have their own filters, that's why. Just put in tap water and let it work. Dirty acidic water, nanotech alkaline. Nanomachine, son, they purify your water. <laughs> ah, good old Ladgermania. I guess I should have expected them here. <laughs> oh, dude. Stove oven combo. That looks good, actually. I don't know. If you ask me, that's pretty cool. Is that their rebrand? Man, I like the old logo. Like, I like this one. This is distinct. That's the one I remember. But that one is, uh, I don't know. It's kind of devoid of personality. I may think it's a t-shirt brand. That looks a little cool, though. Uh, that looks more like a car company. Oh, okay, so they simplified, you know, the winged wheels. They turn it into that. But I don't know, it makes it look more like a portal. That's better, though. That's a cool logo. Oh, they're selling Gadja here? Jeez. I'd love to have a Gadja classic. I don't know if I have room in my house for it, though. Or if I have the patience to uh, make myself an espresso every morning. Or, you know, uh, if I'm, since I'm poor, I might as well get a DeLonghi. Oh, sous vide. Oh, boy. Uh, immersion circulator. Induction cooker. Oh, boy. I don't know if I want to immersion cook my meat. I like that, though. The torch. That looks cool. Cash machines. Uh, well, it is crucial. Uh, receipt printers. Uh, price label printers. I know how relevant it is. I guess that's cool. Is that a screensaver? I don't know. Get to watch movies while doing your job, I guess. Okay, so 
so my microphone has run out of battery. Everything. Come on, focus. Focus. Anyway, uh, it's lost battery. So I'm going in raw with my audio. I'm going raw. So I'm gonna talk on top of this. I hope it, uh, it sounds okay. Everything that can go wrong with my vlogging setup has gone wrong. Oh, there's the longy. I should buy one. 13,000. Hmm. I'm fine with this. Uh, that's a grinder though. Keep espresso machine. I don't need it to be super good. I just need coffee every morning. That's it. What, what more do I want? Maybe I should get one? I don't know. Here's the thing about like all these different teas. Everything ha has antioxidants. Even your own grandma's ashes has antioxidants. Like, come on, just, you know, get in there, get in that urn, and extract the flavor from her ashes, and imbibe that liquid, and find yourself becoming one with your grandmother. She has all the antioxidants you'll ever need. What is this for? Like, oh, for milk tea. Oh, they're using ThinkPad. Good, good. I like them already, but, hmm. This is for uh, milk tea, uh, Budo training Pasai. Wait, so they train people to make milk tea? Really? That's cool, I guess. My oh, man. Do you become a milk tea master? Become a milk tea sommelier. Yeah, they're closing up now. Well, I guess that's it. Eh, I don't know much else I can do here. But, uh, see you at Mathbex 2023. Is this the same guys who organized Manila International Auto Show? Because they also have that in their exit signs. Uh, I guess that's their style. Anyway, that's all for now, ladies and gentlemen. I'm gonna go take a pee. <laughs> Till next time, stay torn. Rest in, pre <laughs> rest in peace, Froggy, rest in peace. <laughs>